It's I okay. see a lot of the same. Me too. But you know what I don't like is when I go, Jessica, do you like it? It's okay. Um, well, I, I mean, can, mm, you know. Maybe if I tuck it. Because I, I want to wear it. Maybe if I do something with it. I couldn't wait but to I've wear never, it. But I've never done anything with it. I just need to find the right style you know, for it. I'm just going to tuck it. I got to find the right place. Edwina and Shayna help my daughter find her path. So Shayna and Edwina, I need help. Hi guys! My name is Shayna. And my name is Edwina. You guys have watched us on YouTube for over nine years. Go to thrift stores and find ourselves. And you've been asking us to shop with us, so here's your chance. We're right down to the email below. We're here to help you find who you are. Welcome to our new series, This, this is, is Who I Am. This is who Another episode of This Is Who I Am. Well, you guys know who we are. My name is Shayna. And I'm Edwina. We are addicted to going into your homes and figuring you out because you can't figure you out. Exactly. So <laughs> make sure you guys are following us on Instagram at TA Approved, yes. on Twitter at TA Approved Tweets, and make sure you're subscribed to this channel because first Friday of every month, you're going to see a new episode of This Is Who I Am. Today we have a really special, special nomination because uh, we are very close and good friends with the mother and daughter team of Not Just Antiques. Yes, another dynamic duo. Uh, we fell in love with them because they remind us of us. Exactly. <laughs> so the mom, Renee Poole, has nominated her daughter. We got the nomination. We were so excited when we saw who it was. Yes, and um, surprise, actually. Surprise, because we had Jessica actually just recently on the news. We thought that we gave her everything she needed, <laughs> but apparently she, she needed more one it, one it, time. It didn't work. But what we didn't know was we didn't know that Jessica is a lover of all things trendy. But we're like, hmm, she has all the trendy stuff. What's the problem? Yeah, and I get the sense that she's grown up in this this antique vintage world and doesn't want to be a part of it oh my gosh she's anti-vintage maybe for me it would be a dream to work in a thrift store yeah but maybe because she's grown up you know doing that we got to talk to her mom and we got to find out for like sure. what is the gist and what is going on and you know maybe find out what her expectations of us are i thought we had to figure out i did too but you know what sometimes you know people hide like fears really well you know uh yeah we, we're the master of that <laughs> but then guys, if anybody knows about hiding their fears it's us <laughs> the good news is that we've graduated and we don't have to do that anymore that's right, the good news. right it's so freeing right so we can't wait to to get to jessica's house we hear she has a lot of clothes so we're excited about that yes we hope you guys are enjoying this series Edwina and I are working really hard, and as you can tell, this is the probably going to be around the third or fourth uh, episode. Look, we're we're a one man show over here. Like we we don't have we don't have a lighting guy. The Vegas sun is killing our shot. <laughs> this no. is us. Each woman needs something different that we can't just give you a straight template right. to cure all. Yeah. Because we're listening to you. We're really trying to fix it for you, not just give you us, make you us. We're not trying to make you us. We're trying to make you. Right. You. Right. We are so excited to bring on a new sponsor, our very first sponsor, Woohoo! Hera Beauty. They are going to be providing This Is Who I Am nominations. <laughs> Hair and makeup, guys. Like, this is not America's Next Top Model. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're not going to, you know, <laughs> chop all, all of your hair off. But I think just giving you a fresh new a look because we're giving you guys a fresh new view on your closet and your clothes. So, so with that being said, if this is getting you all excited, this is how you enter. We need a video of you telling us why are you stuck and where you're stuck at and where do you want to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, title it, this is who I am and good luck to you. All right, it's time. Please knock on the no. door. It's so nice. It's so beautiful. Right? <laughs> very, very vintage. 
Oh, look, and they have a mezuzah. Oh, nice. Hi, guys. Oh, hello. Hi, Stella. Hi, Stella. Don't worry, Stella. Stella. We're here to help. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you ready for us? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, well, we will see. My name is Jessica Poole. I'm originally from LA. I moved here when I was in eighth grade with my mom. I'm Renee Poole, and I am Jessica's mom, and I've been an estate liquidator for 30 years and started Not Just Antiques Mart in Las Vegas. Not Just Antiques. At one more Western Avenue. <laughs> yeah, get, the plug. get the plug it in. Get the plug it in, which is 12,000 square feet of vintage and thrift and collectibles and furniture and shabby chic and pretty much anything you can imagine. People always assume that I'm going to be full on vintage and thrift and surprise, because I'm not. What do you like to do for fun? For fun, for fun. What is for fun? Um, I work all the time. And then I work some more. So I spend time with the dogs. I like to do yoga. I like to go have coffee with my girlfriends. That's about it. I reached out to Edwina and Shayna uh, for Jessica because she gets confused by clothing. It's not that she doesn't know how to dress. It's not that she doesn't have a lot of clothes. But she doesn't always know how to put them together. So this is my closet. Oh my gosh, whoa! Jessica, you have all these yeah. clothes oh and we gosh. always see you in, the same, in the same thing. Yeah, I know, that's the problem. Well, you know what we're gonna do today? We're gonna talk about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's not ready. Tell us about your outfit. Is this a typical go-to? This is a go-to. You know, I like to wear things that make me look like a grandma. Why is this still in your closet if it makes you feel like a grandma? <laughs> because of the store, right? I'm walking around, I'm carrying boxes, so I just automatically want to wear comfortable things. So your idea of comfortable is you have to look like a grandma to be comfortable. My idea of comfortable is very basic. Okay guys, so if you remember Jessica, mm -hmm. she was one of our featured members, TA members on Channel 13 News. Because we did put some pieces on her that we thought would change her life. A big surprise, Jessica hitting the dress jackpot. So I am not really wearing any pieces. Do not have the balls to wear it, not gonna lie. I'm not even sure my friends would know what to do with me if I walked in, in that in that outfit. Why is that a concern? I mean whatever, they probably wouldn't care they're my friends, but they'd be like, what happened? Could you just walk in and own it? Clearly not, because I haven't done it. <laughs> Three words that describes your style today. Basic, dark, not like dark, like creepy, like black. I wear a lot of black. Trendy. <sighs> okay, somebody's in a cave. Someone's living in a dark place. I mean, to be honest with you, the most interesting thing she said was that her, her outfits are creepy. <laughs> but we need to know, when you look around your closet, how does it make you feel? Oh, I feel like... You get overwhelmed when you walk in here. Yeah, pretty much. What if Shane and I told you that you could walk in your closet and feel extremely happy every time? Do you think that's possible? I mean, that would be amazing. Look at your rack in front of you. If these clothes could talk to you, what would it say to you? <laughs> Not that rack. <laughs> <laughs> wear me, wear me, why aren't you wearing me? I've been sitting here for seven months or two years, wear me. Is there any celebrity that you would kind of uh, look up to that would describe your style? So, Shane and Edwina? I don't know. Well, you know, I mean. <laughs> we don't want to toot our own horn. But, but, but I mean, we're kind of celebrities. I mean, a little you bit. Know, we've got style and it's just. <laughs> you guys start in the D list before you get to the A list. Right, exactly. That's, and, and it doesn't have to be like a celebrity. Like, you see somebody, even if it's one of your friends, like, you, every time you see them, you're like, wow, I really like your style. I love all my friends dearly, but no. Oh. oh, wow. So you know what that means. She's blending in. <laughs> <laughs> She's blending in, not standing out. Yeah, no, but you know what that also means? Is that she has her own style and she just hasn't found it yet. <laughs> All right, Jessica, you have a 10 second challenge. I need you to pull out something that makes you feel vibrant and sexy. Go. Your time's running out and you haven't found anything. Four, three, two, one. This 
call a big fat fail. <laughs> oh no! <gasps> what? Okay. No doomy outfits? No nasty time outfits? No, she can't think of anything in this closet that makes her feel sexy or just, you know, look good. Do you guys see all these racks in here? She couldn't grab one. And grab thing. the pink sequin shorts! You couldn't lie to us! You could have grabbed anything! <laughs> You what, know happened? What? what happened? Jessica? Yeah, what, what, what happened? What happened? What happened right now? I mean, immediately, of course, I thought like like tight dress. Uh, I don't know. So, do you do you feel like all of your clothes represent who you are today? Probably not. I do not feel like all of my clothes represent who I am. No. Are you happy about that? <laughs> um, I probably need to go through and donate a lot of stuff. First step. She said the magic word. Yes. Purge. Then we can go shopping. Donate, donate, donate. First step. Especially if they don't make you feel good. <laughs> so we need to clear a spot for all the great things we're gonna bring. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Just run to one thing that you know that you need to get out of your closet right now. But what if I want to wear it one day? That's why everything's still here. <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. How about my t-shirt? Oh boy. All right. We got a lot of work to do. <laughs> <laughs> I have like 10 of them. Oh, you do? Yeah. That's a problem. <laughs> so you have multiples of the same thing. Oh. oh yeah, when I find something on sale, I buy it in like every color, seven of them, if I know I'm gonna wear them. Purge it. All right, that's your first one. Throw it in the pile. Please put her behind you. Oh my gosh, she just called something ugly in her closet. Okay, here. What do you define as ugly? I call it my grandma sweater, but I wear it. But why did you call it ugly? Because it's a grandma sweater. No, it's not. about it that's flattering. Oh okay, God. so is your grandma wearing that sweater? I mean, come on. No, my grandma had great style. <laughs> <gasps> Jessica. Oh so does my mom. I don't know what happened. But hold on. Do you know that you could have great style? You don't have to choose something. I think you don't want to get noticed. I had a blog and I called it colorblind for why? Why did I call it colorblind? Because you weren't wearing any color at all and neither was I. It's easy just to blend in, like, hi, I'm here. And <laughs> right. People know you're there, but they kind of forget about you sometimes. Well, and, and I... Or, oh. and, or don't expect anything from you. Right. We kind of just want to see, like, what is your average, you know, you're getting ready to go somewhere and you want to pick a top. So, these are a bunch of black tank tops that I could layer but couldn't wear. This is cute. Oh, I guess this could be cute under something. Okay, those two pieces are amazing. When the last time you wore either one of those pieces? I never wore either one of them. <gasps> I knew it. I did too. <laughs> I knew it. She was looking at it like it was so like out of reach that she just keeps. Now, why do you keep it? I hoard clothing and nothing else. I don't know. We get the hoarding part. That's I mean, not the problem. We have a lot of in common with Jessica. <laughs> the difference is we wear everything that we have in our closet. Everything. Everything. I mean, see, I could do that, but I don't know if that looks right. You do realize that you're the only one that can determine if that looks right. Look at these, very romantic. Who? Yeah, you have a very romantic style. Why aren't you showing this romantic side? Look at lace on the back of that. And have you worn that? <clears throat> nope, but you know what I have worn? That's cute. That's really cute. That's how we went from sexy to cute, and I've worn the cute one. Well, so oh! oh. So. We got your romantic side. Okay. And right next to the dark side. Right? Oh, that's really pretty too, though. Yes, I've worn this. Okay. This is a go-to. Okay, it's very simple. Yes. Ooh, Ooh, gorgeous. Color, the first color piece. Yay, I'm a go-to. You'll notice my go-tos all look alike, a go-to. Oh, wow. Um, we went from white section to black section to now ruffles. No, same style, though. Yes. That's very interesting. So you're very confident with your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Arms are always out. Um, I think this could probably go. I've had this since I think I was in college. Okay, so if you Ooh. say probably, then it needs to be donated. Mm -hmm. Somebody could love that very much. Yeah, it's super cute, but... Okay, I, I think so go ahead and throw it in the... Let's take it to the Donate. Side. We might need it one day. Oh, you won't. We might nope. need it one day. You just said you haven't worn it since college. No. <laughs> but I'm, get, I'm getting a little warm. Um, I think I've had this since college. When was the last time you wore it? Mm -hmm. Probably college. Yeah. Are you going to Coachella in that? You gonna have your yeah. belly out? Are you ready? Coachella. Okay, no. <laughs> you'll need that. All these blouses, by the way, a nice blazer in the fall, like just very chic, like with heels and jeans, could so be really fun. That's the easiest way to transition your style. You keep your same tops you love, and you just throw yeah. a piece over it. Okay, so our strategy may be a little different for this episode, and I'm, it's on Ooh. the spot. Oh my God. Because Edwina, Edwina can usually read my brain. 
she has all the key pieces. Girl, she, we don't have to go thrifting. Mm -mm, we need to teach her how to style in her own closet. I think she's just been looking at it so long in the same format that she doesn't even see it anymore. This one's different. This one's different. We thought we had her all figured out, but you know what? We don't. <laughs> Man, you love some sheer, and they're all You're very, really you know pretty. what? You're kind of a, a romantic. You are a romantic. Someone, you're waiting for your Prince I Charming. <laughs> Prince Charming needs to come and grab me. you out the tower. I know, you should be going to the grocery store with all these. Somebody tells you I'm a romantic. That's yes. Do you feel like you are? Oh, I totally, I, deep down inside I am. That's very funny that you guys say that. Do me in the forest. Look at you, you're ready to go. So like, here's the thing. Who yeah. says you couldn't go to the grocery store with some, some uh, tennis shoes or whatever and jeans and throw this on? Right. And everybody's just gonna be like, wow, she's stunning. Exactly. Getting oranges. With no effort. And you could meet your, your Prince Charming. Yes. <laughs> oh, this What's is Donny. No! <laughs> Why do you wear that one all the time and no sheer? It's cute. But it this is. say who you are. Right, where's the romantic in that? <gasps> you feel safe in it. Well, duh. You literally why held it like it? a teddy bear. Yeah, like why haven't you worn why this to work a hundred times? Why not? If I wore this, could I throw on like black tennis shoes? I mean, is the police gonna come to your door? <laughs> black tennis <laughs> shoes! Okay. Did yeah. somebody just say they were wearing black tennis shoes? Ma'am, we're gonna have to uh, tie you up and throw you in the car yeah, today. You're getting, getting hogtied. <laughs> you're getting hogtied for that move. We work every day and it may not be your like passionate dream job, but what do you do the majority of your life? Work. And where do you go the majority of your life? Work. The thing is, is to feel good every day, even at work. Yeah, even so it's at like, the grocery store, even at Starbucks, even at the gas station. Yeah, because realistically, like I don't have time to do anything else but work. Right. You know what? Work is gonna turn into a fashion show. It is true. The days that I put on something that I that I do feel cute or pretty in, and I do my makeup and I do my hair and I go to work. I feel 100% better and I'm happier with the customers than when I just throw on a t-shirt, jeans, maybe whatever. Okay, so these are our, your like outerwear pieces, right? We got fall coming soon. We do. Do you wear a lot of these pieces? No. <laughs> Start pulling some pieces that you like in here. So that could probably go. I feel like this for a five-year-old, like let's be honest. Perfect. Donate. Perfect reason Okay, keep going. We're gonna move fast. This one, it's... Donate. Did you hear the, ugh. This is fun, I'm gonna keep this. That is you just cute. don't see it all. Gorgeous. Very, very cute. Again, with your romantic pieces under that, like sexy mm. with the blazer over it. Yes. Yeah, see, I never think to, like, cross over with mix, styles. Mix right. them right. together. So if I'm wearing this, it's like, okay, I have to go with this, <laughs> as opposed to like. So what would you wear with these bell bottoms? <laughs> right. Pretty much, yeah. Target. All right. Is that Mizaraki? <laughs> You're out of here. A new home. I love this. We're not doing gorgeous. That. Hey, that's everything. your romantic piece. With every lace goes under these. Hey, I love this take the shirt out. <gasps> oh, look at the textures. Yes. Oh my God, Jessica, you're romantic. This I can't get rid of because you never know when you might need it. For what? For what? A business. 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 Yeah. Or like a Saturday. With jeans? Yeah, sure, we could do that too. With you, one of your lace tops? Like yes. you scrunch the arms up? I never would have thought of that, but yes. Or if you're meeting Hillary Clinton? That's right. <laughs> she ain't never gonna meet Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> never know. Ta-da! Ooh! That is gorgeous. So the only place I have ever worn this, no joke, is a Janet Jackson concert. Okay, then that's a good place that's to wear. That's a good place to wear. She she had it at Janet Jackson. But you should have worn it 15 more times after you that. You should have worn it to dinner. But we all know why it didn't. Yeah, what is this? Yes, this is a That's a grandma shirt. <laughs> Donate. Okay, all right. But it could be cute with like a belt. Because but let me ask you like, a question. You put, okay, if you had this though, you would put a belt on it and you would put it with- Can I ask you a question? Do you like that one better or this one? Mm hmm Or the next gray one. Or what about this one? The next gray one. Because this one speaks romantic Jessica. Oh, and then this one too. speaks Jessica used to wear this because she wanted to be a grandma, but now she's Juliet. So I, I wear this one. You do? Yes. Do you wear this one? No, and no. Donate. No. This is Donate it. It's gone. It's over. Because guess what? What you're doing is, is you're cluttering your closet with things that you don't wear in case you need them. But then That's guess right. what? You're going to grab this one first because you always wear it. So you're not wearing that other one. I know, it's hard. <laughs> We're getting, it's getting difficult, Amina. It's so hard. Why is it bothering you? Like, why Why do you feel like you can't let go and, and you never it's wore it? I need it. You don't, because look how much stuff you have. And you know what's great? Is that now it made it a little op more open. And look, you can see new things. Do you oh, see yeah, new so things? Oh, that I can't see anything. Like, look at how beautiful, oh, like. Oh, look at that. 
see it's got lace. Huh? Yeah. Well, who would have thought? Lace and sheer and flowers. That's hysterical. You know, like, do you wear this one? G keep grabbing. Just go really quickly. Tell me if you wear it. I wear it. Does it scream Jessica? Oh, it's cute. Okay, no. No, Donate. no, no. Well, it's well, cute. Well, it's gas paws. <laughs> when did you buy this? How long have you had it? Okay. No, because I want to try it tucked in with like heels. That would be fun to style. Though. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. I, okay, good. I, she's good. standing up for her rights because guess what? You're owning your style, and this was the whole point of this. Do you like it? It's fine. Okay. Okay. That's a little Wednesday add on. You don't need this in your life. Look, I made my own outfit. <laughs> you did. Did you wear it though? I probably did at some point. I gosh, I think I've had this in college. Is there a tag? Hold on, take that cardigan off. No, I've worn both of these. I take the cardigan off. Uh huh. Like, uh huh. Yeah, I just caught you in a lie, Jessica. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I wore it. Yeah, you know why? Because I've worn this probably a million times. Do you like it? Yeah. That can donate. Oh, this is like an everyday. Edwina, <laughs> that can donate. <laughs> Edwina's obviously over it. <laughs> I am not, but I see She's a like, lot of the You same. can get rid of that. It's I okay. see a lot of the same. Me too. But you know what I don't like is when I go, Jessica, do you like it? It's okay. Um, well, I, I mean, can, you know. Maybe if I tuck it. Because I, I want to wear it. Maybe if I do something with it. I couldn't wait but to I've wear never, it. But I've never done anything with it. I just need to find the right style you know, for it. I'm just going to tuck it. I got to find the right place. Jessica has another room for her dresses. Uh-huh. Do you go to this closet a lot? Um, yeah, well, no, it depends. This is my, where all my dresses, most of my dresses are. Mexico. Okay, so go ahead and pull out your favorite dress. Yep. The one you love to wear. Um, I like this romper. Okay. We said dress. <laughs> we said dress. Your time's running out and you haven't found anything for your dreams. We'll go with this one. We'll go with this one? <laughs> yes, I'm on a tight so, right here. <laughs> so this is the dress you love? Um, yes. And you've worn this dress before? Yes, many times. And you love it? It's your favorite dress? Guys, you guys have a full closet of dresses. She can't find one dress she loves. Okay, hold on. I do love this dress. This is one of my favorite dresses. Even though it's not super sexy, I feel sexy in it. Who said it wasn't sexy? It's not tight. I mean, like, it's not like some tight, like, oh, here's my body dress. Oh my God, again, tight means sexy for her. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that was a good one. So go ahead and put it back in your closet mm -hmm. and pull out a dress that every time you look at it, you're like, ugh. It's kind of frumpy. Okay, it's frumpy. So okay, that's a donate. That's a donate. All right, go ahead and pull out another one just like that. I'm sure you have more. No. <laughs> no. Not inviting you back. <laughs> Definitely frumpy, but so cute. But what do you mean by frumpy? It's just like too big. Is it too big so, for you? Yeah, a lot of the times because I have a smaller, I just kind of go, which I'm fine with, right? I don't have big boobs. I don't have a big butt. So a lot of the times, things like this on me, I think I get swallowed. So it's not your size, maybe. Yeah, it's not your size. This is a perfect because it's it's not. I don't no think way. it's frumpy. It's the same exact shape as the one you love, by the way. Yep. And it actually has the same style as the one you love. Yep. It's just a size too big. Yes. So it's okay. But guess what? You're never gonna wear it because you're not gonna feel good in it because it's mm -hmm. too big. But it's cute. It is cute. There's a lot of things that are cute that are not our size. So do you when you go shopping? Do you just buy things that are your size, or do you try things on? I hate trying. Things. Oh my god, half her closet could be frumpy because it's not her size because she never tried it on. Yeah, I think we just identified problem number three. <laughs> yes, wrong size and you're beating yourself up for yeah. it. Yeah, it's not that it's your style that's a problem, it's the fact that you just you're wearing the wrong size. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's that sleeve with the sequin? That's something that uh, we would wear. Wow, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Sunny, and I see has the tag on it. It does. Because again, I feel like I can't just wear it to dinner. So you would save it. What are you saving it for? I don't know. Have you had this fancy occasion has never come? There is no special occasion. Just wear it. Yeah, because guess what? You you'll miss the opportunity, and then and then it loses its excitement. True. It's very conservative, but you're showing off leg. Yeah, it's it's all leg and a little peekaboo back. I do have a leg. You might want to think about that. Can't wait to see you in this dress. The weather's changing, long sleeves will be perfect. Okay, so a few more uh, things that you're just not wearing. Um, I don't think you could wear this. There's some holes. You might need to donate that one. Yeah. Um, so then there's this. No! It's really cute, 
but I know that on me, it does nothing to flatter me. So you want to hold on to that? <laughs> yes, make it flattering. <laughs> this is flattering. Oh, that is gorgeous. See now, yeah, so I would rather see you walk in with this dress than that dress. Yes. And I don't care if you say, oh, this is fancier. What? what? Well, I would wear it to a fancy dinner, but I wouldn't like wear this. What's a if fancy you, like, dinner? Call me and we're like, hey, let's go to dinner. I'm Jessica, like, what is a fancy dinner? We don't have fancy dinners. There is no fancy dinner, and if it is, you have to wear a gown, You're not eating. that. It's eating. Well, I mean, like if we went to like a more expensive restaurant, I'm not gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna Wait. go and ring in this. Why not? You'll okay. kill the game. Yeah, right. and then everybody at Echo and Riggs will be like, I should have dressed up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always the one that's overdressed, and I'm okay with that. I love that. Uh -huh. You just owned it. You're an overdressed romantic. Yes, you Now are. start dressing like that. <laughs> these are my, like, we're setting up an estate sale jeans. I can get them dirty jeans, except for these. But how many estate sale I'm get, can get them dirty jeans you need? How many are there? Count them. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, I don't know what these are, eight, nine, maybe ten. Okay, where's that Pierre de Yeah. the news uh, I want to see Carrie Bradshaw's dress stat. Oh, well, this is my formal. And you haven't worn it. Nope. But I have it. What about for the holidays? Would you wear that for the holidays? Where am I going? Anywhere, someone's Anywhere. house. No, I wouldn't wear it. What? Do you go to the Smith Center for plays? Yep, wouldn't wear it. What? Why? I would wear something else that I showed you. I feel like maybe you're just, you don't want to stand out too much. Well, Hi, yeah, I'm if subtle. I, if I walked into the Smith Center, I don't think, I'm sure I would get a lot of like... Yeah, and then they may ask you out. Right, and they would be like, oh my god, she's amazing. I wonder where she got her dress. Is she a star? Is she a local celebrity? Right, who is she? Uh, Anyways, well, we'll get to that. We got a lot of work to do. Oh, All right. And I have Carrie Bradshaw right there. Oh, this was my favorite piece. What are you waiting for? I have no idea. Jessica, it's time for a fresh start, dear. This is your time. You can hit the reset button and you can be whoever you want to be. But and I, I want to be me. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I don't want to be anybody else. That's exactly why we're here. So that you can start being you and owning it. Yeah, I'm not so good at owning it. Okay, so we asked you in the very beginning, describe your style in three words. Now I want you to do it again after we just went through everything. I want you to describe your style in three words. Romantic, lacy, and carefree. Oh, <gasps> wow, I just got chills. Did you feel that? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the world's waiting for you. And can we just talk about how I think Jessica's personality are in her shoes? Yes. yes. <laughs> I feel like that's, this is where you take your risk. Yeah. At. Okay, I want you to go through each shoe and I want you to give me an adjective for each shoe and how they make you feel fast. Ready? Okay, go. Awesome. Phenomenal. This is it all. Okay. Um, then you have these, which are romantic. You have these, which are just classic. You have these, which are just cheap and fun. Again, I guess romantic. Then I've got these, which I love. I love the color. Then I have these, which are just clearly never worn. <laughs> Here we go again. Sexy. Mm -hmm. I have these, which are one of my favorites. I <laughs> love their lace. Mm -hmm. I've seen you in those before. Yep. I love these. What does that give you? Timeless and just sort of, here I am, in my shoes. You have a lot of confidence in your shoes. <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> no, I'm serious. There wasn't one like, I mean, you know. Mm. I'm actually very impressed with the shoes, actually. <laughs> this is gonna make this process nice. easier. <laughs> I've got, these are my favorite little booties. I haven't worn these yet, but I love them. Ooh, Betsy. Ooh. <gasps> That with that dress. They have a bow. With that dress. What about with that dress? Oh. Yeah. For the wedding that you're going to. The wedding. I mean, those are oh. stunning. With the sleeves. Okay, your confidence lies in your feet, girl. <laughs> you're romantic from your feet to your head, girl. You are. Head to toe. Tons of accessories. Do you wear a lot of these accessories? I wear some of them. Oh my god, is that a bobblehead of your style? This is a bobblehead my mom had made for me when I was graduating. Oh my god, oh look my what god. it is. Oh my god, it's you. <laughs> it's you in a tank, yeah. jeans, exactly. and shopping for more new items you're not gonna wear. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hi. Jessica, and I'm romantic, but I keep wearing jeans and black shirts. <laughs> and I'm not gonna wear them, I'm just gonna keep shopping. So I just wanna, when I walk into a room, I just want to be who I am and to be good with it to be confident with it. And you guys are gonna help me get there.
Ooh, what is that? Ooh, what is that? Oh, wow. That's a cup. You passed this up? <gasps> we didn't take you completely away from your, your comfort zone. We made her leave, as you saw, with nothing. It fit you really, really nice. So we want you to know that we went over budget. Yes. 